Big news! New Blue just dropped. You might be thinking, big deal, mom says we have blue at home, but does blue at home come from cabbage? Checkmate, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is a super common and nostalgic flavor of candy, drinks, desserts. But there's something weird about it because raspberries aren't actually blue. Actually, very few natural foods are that bright, almost neon shade of blue. Blueberries don't exactly look like blue Gatorade. The bright cyan color that we associate with blue raspberry comes from a synthetic compound called Brilliant Blue FCF, which you may have seen on ingredients lists of cosmetics or food ingredients. This dye has such a vivid color because it absorbs red light very well and reflects back the blue light that we see. Quick review of colors. The visible light spectrum spans from about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. At the 400 nanometer end is the higher energy purple light, while at the 700 nanometer end is the lower energy red light. Different chemicals absorb light from certain parts of the spectrum and then reflect light from all of the others. For example, chlorophyll, which gives plants their characteristic green color, absorbs light from the red, blue, and purple parts of the spectrum so that they'll appear green. Going back to our blue raspberry color, when a dye absorbs more of the red light part of the spectrum, more of the blue will then be reflected, which gives us that bright cyan color. For comparison, a dye that absorbs more orange or green light is more likely to come across as looking dark blue or purple. For a while, scientists have been trying to find a natural dye that can replicate that bright blue cyan color. And they have a pretty good starting point. Cabbage. More specifically, red cabbage. Wait, 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 hear me out. Red cabbage, along with a number of other plants, has a type of molecule called anthocyanin that actually fits the profile of a natural blue food dye pretty well. Except for one thing, it's only blue in basic solution. You see this in the classic pH meter, boiled cabbage water. When you add something acidic to it, like lemon juice, it will turn a reddish purple. When you add something basic to it, like baking soda, it will turn a deep blue. And the same thing happens with that Instagram famous color changing lemonade. In an acidic environment, anthocyanin gets protonated. That is, a hydrogen nucleus from the environment gets tacked on, so its chemical properties will change. This causes the molecule to absorb less red light, thus causing it to look more pink or purple. In a basic environment, the unprotonated anthocyanin will absorb more red light, making the solution look blue. Now we have a natural compound that's serving us that electric blue Gatorade energy. But the real problem is getting the anthocyanin to stay blue over time and at neutral pH. To solve this problem, scientists stabilized one of the anthocyanin compounds found in red cabbage using aluminum. They labeled this compound P2, but for simplicity, let's call it Leonardo. While the stabilized dye Leonardo looks perfectly cyan at neutral pH and it can last a pretty long time, it's relatively hard to produce since it's not one of the main components of the red cabbage dye. Red cabbage actually contains a lot more of the molecules that can shift its color more over to purple, which we can see in the color of the cabbage itself. So if just the rare Leonardo's of the red cabbage dye were used, it would take a lot of cabbage to color anything blue. To solve this problem, that same group of scientists engineered an enzyme to convert the components that are more common in red cabbage coloring to that specific blue anthocyanin that mimics the blue number one color the best. Leonardo. This seems like it would be pretty complicated, but it actually uses a native reaction. This means that the reaction the scientists are trying to produce is one that the enzyme is used to and that it does naturally. So really, the protein does all the work, making it relatively efficient to produce this dye on a large scale. There's a lot of safety and stability testing a food dye has to go through before it can be used to really smurf up our drinks and desserts. But Finding natural alternatives to our currently used synthetic blue dyes is a great start. Okay, disclaimer, we are not being sponsored by Big Cabbage. 